I need your honest opinion. Brutally honest opinion. This is your chance to leave a comment that I need to hear. And it involves what I've been pondering the last couple of weeks after doing all of these diss tracks from all of these different artists and wondering, should I even be involved in any of this as a mental health professional? Because it's left me with a lot of questions from Drake and Kendrick Lamar to Chris Brown and Quavo, and the list goes on and on, but especially those over the last several weeks. And I've heard from both sides of the spectrum with people. Uh, do it, get involved in it. I'm glad to see you excited to do it, Tom, and be a part of it too. Man, you're a disgrace. I can't believe you do this as a therapist when you're listening to some of the things that they're saying about each other, and that's not, that's not okay. You shouldn't be supporting that. And I literally don't know what to do, but I have my opinion, which I'm gonna give you, my honest opinion of what I think I should do at this point. But it came to light this last couple of weeks over Kendrick Lamar and Drake, the back and forth. And I've got two sides of the story here. One is I'm a mental health professional. I need to deal with topics that have to do with mental health. And I need to talk about things that are mentally healthy and mentally, mentally dysfunctional. I'm around mental illness all the time. It's my job. It's what I do every day. When I come to YouTube, it's a little bit of a different story because the things people are talking about aren't always completely mentally healthy and aren't always from the best moral perspective because they are going at each other. It's a part of the industry. And so I was told to embrace that. But as a mental health professional, maybe I should just stay away from it and not have anything to do with it and let that go and just not react to anything that has to do with this is back and forth because they're gonna be talking nasty about each other and some really personal stuff that may be true or may not be true. The second side of the coin is that I am a reactor on YouTube and I also have the experience of being a mental health professional so I can, I can see and hear and pay attention to things that other people might not be able to because of my profession. And it's what we do. I don't always like everything that I hear I don't always agree with everything that I hear, but that's not my job when it comes to YouTube. My job is to listen, to give my opinion, and to do my best to try to discover any mental health or mental dysfunction in that and what you can do about it. It came to light this last week with Chris, not Chris Brown, well, it started with Chris Brown and Quavo, when there were some brutally nasty things said, especially from Chris Brown's perspective, and I'm torn between the vibe and the beat and the lyrics. And then it really exploded this last week with Kendrick Lamar and Drake because there were some really nasty things said. And I set it up front, even though a lot of people don't watch every single reaction we do, I set it up front, this makes me uncomfortable. This has nothing to do with mental health. This is a way to tear somebody apart. But you know what everybody says to me? Tom, that's the rap game. That's what they do. That's what makes this industry go. That's why when everybody... Uh, heard J. Cole back out and say, you know what, I'm out of this, that uh, so many people got on him for that. And I was the first, well, not the first, the first thing I said was, I am so proud of him. And I honor him for doing that, for not becoming a part of that, because that's not who he is today, even though that is the rap game. And I'm torn at this point, just like J. Cole. Do I back out and just say, you know what? I'm gonna pass on these things because the other side, the third side of the coin is this is what we do on YouTube. And it's what helps us sometimes be compensated for what we do because we don't get paid for 95 plus percent of the reactions we do. We just don't get anything. They demonetize it, they copyright it, and we can't get anything for it. Kendrick Lamar's done an amazing thing this time. He has released copyright claims on all of his reactions on YouTube for reactors. It's such an honorable, I am so grateful to you, Kendrick Lamar, for doing that. Because the work and the hours that are put in for us to do these reactions, and honestly, the energy that's put into it, and most of the time we get nothing for it. With all the equipment, with all the time, with all the energy, it is very hard. So for him to do that, it is like a, a booster shot for our whole industry in terms of reacting. So I'm grateful to Kendrick Lamar. So if I don't do it, then we don't have a chance of getting anything monetized, which could support 
our channel. It's why we have a Patreon page. It's why we have membership on YouTube. But back to the reactions of these diss tracks. I'm a mental health professional. Should I back out because of what I do? It just morally, it just doesn't sit. Ethically, it doesn't sit with me. Because even though I'm getting into the, the diss tracks, I'm trying my best to turn off part of my therapist's brain and say, let me listen to the perspective they're coming from. And then part of me is saying, yeah, but this doesn't sound right. And then there's the YouTube side. If this is what we do as a YouTube channel, I'm not gonna always like. There are several songs I have not liked. And I thought we're mentally really not coming from a good perspective, but people requested it, they like it, they wanna hear my perspective on it, and so I do it. And there it comes back to you. As a mental health professional, there's many people that say, how dare you? You're a disgrace. How can you listen to this? How can you have that reaction? Well, first of all, it's a first reaction. I've never heard this before. You might have heard it several times. So I have to go back and think about things and ponder them, but I don't get a chance to do that because it's always a first reaction. The second thing is, do I stay in it? Because maybe somebody can hear something that will help them down the road. And when Kendrick Lamar says to Drake, you should die and you're a pedophile. And Drake says, you were sexually molested as a child, and that's why you're angry. Which one is right? Neither. Neither one. Neither should be saying that. But you know what people say to me? That's the industry, Tom. That's what they do. That's what makes this whole rap industry great, is the battles back and forth. So what it tells me is some people turn off the how personal it gets and say, that's just it's what they do to try to get on top of each other and get higher, uh, just have more, just to be better than the other one. They find ways to break people down personally. And so it's almost like one of those things, well, hey, it's not personal, but it's personal. So is it as serious as I take it on the inside? Because as I've sat back the last few days, I've thought, you know what? I don't know that I want to do this. But I like trying to figure out what it's about. I appreciate the diss tracks because I appreciate the artistry. I appreciate the fact that they're putting out new music. I appreciate the fact that they're going back and forth and it's competition. But I don't appreciate the fact that it gets as low and nasty and dirty as it is. Because when you start talking about family, you start talking about children, you start talking about history, you start talking about accusations, about who people are. It goes against the grain of what I do. It's not who I am as a husband. It's not who I am as a father, as a person, as a therapist. So you might see a different person in my office than you would in a reaction because this is a first time reaction. It's entertainment and I'm trying to figure out what in the heck is going on. But you tell me, should I do it? Here's my opinion. I shouldn't do it. I should stop doing diss tracks because it makes my, it calls my profession into question it goes against my moral character. I'm not saying I won't ever do it because if you overwhelmingly say I should do it, then I'll look at that. But if, if, if it comes down to me, I would rather stay away from this and not feed this because I don't like somebody accusing somebody else or calling out their children because you know what? Your children are going to grow up and watch this, Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Your children are going to grow up and hear everything that's been said about you and everything you've said about someone else. And that doesn't sit well with me. As a mental health professional, I have to overlook a lot of things to do these diss tracks. I have to put it aside because otherwise nobody would want to watch it or at least half of the audience would not want to watch it because I would be so dry and bland and I would want to shut it off, honestly. But I appreciate the music, I appreciate the beats, I appreciate the artistry that goes into finding clever ways to say things to each other. And so what I wanna know from Kendrick Lamar and Drake is, is this real? Is this that personal? Kendrick, do you really want him to die? Do you really think he's a pedophile? Drake, do you really think bringing out Kendrick Lamar's history of being abused and molested coming against you and calling him out is okay? I, I don't. but. That's what they say the industry is. So I, I need your feedback. I want you to tell me honestly what you think. Should I quit or should I keep going?